Hello, good evening, Mauricio. How are you tonight? I'm fine. How are we? I'm fine too. Thank you very much for asking. I'm okay. Right, I think we are going to start. It's 8.01 right now. So we want to start tonight because we have to go back to um topic we want to reinforce, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, Melda, it's okay. Okay, remember that if you are as a listener, it's um a essential that you join to uh join the breakout rooms to practice at least listening to your classmates okay yes Imelda, it's okay it's okay remember to watch the video after right and also to submit the a homework up to number 15. Mm -hmm. all right Okay, people, I hope everybody is doing okay. And okay, all right. Remember, you have to turn on your camera and try to, to participate, right? Try to participate in all the activities. Hello, good evening. Was it Vladimir? Yes. All right, welcome, Vladimir, welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, did you read the article that I sent through the platform in the discussion label? Do you remember about uh, Mrs. Shakira and Mr. Pique? Did you read it? I have some answers here. Remember that it was a true full activity and you should complete it on the platform. Okay. I see Mauricio did it, Jose Bernardo did it, and Emerson. So I need everybody to practice reading that article, okay? I think you read it, but you didn't complete the activity in the platform. So everybody, please go and submit your answers. All right, let's start the class. Today, we are going to continue with the was and where verb form, that's the past of the verb be. And also we want to go back and talk about good behavior of employees, um, the good characteristics or characteristics of a good employee, because usually the human resources department is evaluating your attitude. Um, it's not only your aptitudes, right, but your attitude, uh, because they evaluate your social skills, your communication skills, your punctuality. If you are committed to the company, 
with all the rules that if you are disciplined in your work. So those are characteristics that define if you could be promoted or you couldn't be, okay? Maybe they are always, I mean, the talent management is always looking for new talent and also to develop the people in the company. So we have to be aware of those characteristics. We have to um, observe, right? Okay, people, so let's start the class and let's make this short feedback. I want you to engage with this class tonight. So I'm going to start by, uh, by introducing the class. And then we are going to have a kind of trivia, just four, five, four or five questions, okay? Okay. This is your video conference number 15. Welcome everybody. And we want to continue with the verb be in the past. I don't know why I can't share the screen. I'm trying and trying and I can't. Here we are. Okay, we are going to continue with the verb be in the past. Remember that there are different structures and one of the most important to communicate is to learn how to request for information, how to confirm information. So those are questions, right? Questions. So tonight we are going to study some direct questions. Yes, no, okay? Those questions that we just answer with yes or no, okay? The objective tonight is that you will be able to talk about good behavior, discipline, right? and qualifications of a good empl employee, yeah? To be promoted, to be promoted. Remember that we are studying HR procedures and one of the procedures is to promote people, right? To promote or to um, develop people to the next level, right? take them to the next level. And the agenda for this video conference number 15 is that we are going to have a feedback, our usual feedback about was and where we are going to finish the um, a material in the manual. We are going to get to page number 40, okay? And then we are going to go back just a little bit to talk about the good behavior and discipline, all right? We are going to have a conversation about characteristics of a good employee and some examples. We are going to evaluate some attitudes and we want to evaluate employees' behavior and qualifications to be promoted. The session one-on-one -on -one tonight, uh, tonight turn is for Marianne, okay? Marianne, it's your turn tonight. I hope you are able to stay. Uh, she's not joined yet. Si ella no se conecta, Alguien puede este, tomar su lugar, okay? All right then, allow me to ask for some questions. First question. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repasito, okay? Short feedback. Vamos a hacer unas preguntas, bueno, pero quiero que participen, ¿verdad? 
que participen. Acuérdense que vamos a utilizar was and where. Was es para I, he, she, it. Y la forma where es para you, we, and they. Everybody agrees? Okay, Mauricio. Okay, Dave. Okay, Tatiana. Okay, here it goes the first question. How old, okay, how old was Jill Biden when she first met Joe Biden? <laughs> A ver, how old was Jill Biden when she first met Joe Biden? This is a trivia, okay? Esto son preguntas de trivia, ¿verdad? Como cultura general. A ver, ¿quién tiene la respuesta? Un aproximado. 63. 63. When she first met Joe Biden. Cuando se conoció con el... Señor Joe ah, Biden. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh -huh. How old was Jill Biden when she first met Joe Biden? Google it, Google it, everybody, Google. <laughs> uh huh. A ver, jóvenes. 18 years. 18? 18. Yeah. Uh, is that your final, your final answer? No. <laughs> Not uh, your final, all right. 76. 76? Yeah. When she first met Joe no, Biden? No, 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 no. This is the Donald Trump. Oh, okay. No, we are talking about uh, the Bidens. She yes, 18 years. 18? Uh, she, November 20, 1942. 42, uh, 18 years? 18 years. 18 years ago? Oh, 18 years ago. So they, uh, that's a different question and that's a different answer, all right? La pregunta que estamos haciendo es, ¿qué edad tenía Jill Biden cuando se conocieron con Joe Biden? Mm, 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 mm. How old was Jill Biden when she first met Joe Biden? Y les hago esta pregunta porque hubo una pregunta de escándalo que le hicieron a Joe Biden. Él estaba hablando de una miembro de, el, de los que estaban ahí en la conferencia de prensa. Y dijo que él tenía 32 años, algo así, y ella tenía 12 años. Y entonces todo el mundo asumió que estaba hablando de su esposa, cuando realmente no era así. Imagínense, vea, él de 32 y ella de 12, era algo imposible. Él, él estaba hablando de que había esa, esa periodista de la que él estaba hablando, era, era una niña a comparación de él, right Ok, so... Por eso traje esta pregunta, porque probablemente ustedes conocían el, el, el backup, uh -huh. el background de eso. Ok, how old was Jill Biden when she first met Joe Biden? 
¿Ya lo googlearon? Google it. ¿No? Ok, vamos a hacer otra pregunta, ¿ok? Ahí queda todavía en el tintero. Vamos a ver. Next question. How old was Mr. Shafiq Handel when he died? Uh huh. How old was he when he died? Do you have any idea? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. All right. Yes. Okay. Seventy-five. All right. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. These are about yourself. Okay. Estas que vienen van a ser acerca de ustedes mismos. Vamos a ver. A ver, how old were you when graduated from high school? Bachillerato, okay? How old were you when graduated from high school? La respuesta me la deben decir. I was. I was. Mm -hmm. I was graduated from high school in 1995. 19. 1995. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how old were you? How old were you in 1995? <laughs> yeah, these are memories. You were 18, 18 years old. Okay, I entonces, was, uh -huh, exactly. Come I on, Jerry. I was 18 years old. When... Very good. That is the answer. Okay. Because the question was, how old were you when graduated from high school, right? So the answer is, I was, um, then you said 18 years old. Okay, that's it. All right, Daisy, how old were you when you graduated from high school? Daisy? I was Uh huh. A ver, Wendy. Está haciendo cuentas todavía. Resta y suma y uh, uh, I was I was 17 17 years old. All right. Very young. Okay. <laughs> my, my graduation. Uh huh. The highest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, your age. That's your age when you graduated. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Daisy. Okay, Pablo, how old were you when you graduated from high school? I was graduated in, uh, yeah, uh, 1994. Uh, it, it is not the year. Uh, it is your uh, age. Mm -hmm. How my old? Age. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I was uh, uh, 17 years, years old. Okay, very good, very good. I was 17 years old, very good. Mauricio, how old were you when you graduated from high school? I was 18. 18? Yeah, 18. 18. Yeah, because it's if you say yeah. 80, oh. it's 80, 80. No. Mm -hmm. 18. 18. Okay, there you go. 18. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mauricio. Emerson, how okay. old were you when you graduated from high school? I was 19 years old. Oh, 
okay, 19. And I'm checking here, Lilibet's answer says, she says, I was 14 years old when I graduated from high school. Oh my God, very high IQ, good. Mm -hmm. You started really young. Maybe you started from, uh, maybe you went to first grade of four years old, right? You were four years old when you went to first grade. All right. Okay, how old were you when you graduated from high school, Wendy? Oh, 15, all right, 15. Just like me, I was 15 years old too when I graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. Okay, somos gemelas de graduación, all right. <laughs> Okay, hello Wendy, tell us. Hi, teacher. Um, I was high school lads and um, yours, and I am going to graduate, see, uh -huh. in March. In March? In okay. March. All right, so right now you are studying high school. Yeah. Great. Uh, sí. Okay, el bachillerato. Uh, el bachillerato, uh -huh. lo, lo terminé el año pasado, Y me voy a graduar hoy en marzo. Oh, ok. Eh, no, ¿Cómo no sería, Tish? No comprendo, no comprendo. Eh, ajá, explíquenos. El año pasado, teacher, terminé mi bachillerato. Ah, ok, ajá. Ajá, lo terminé en noviembre. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora en marzo me voy a graduar, primero Dios. Oh, now I get it. Now uh -huh. I get it. Okay, then uh -huh. you can say I finished my finished? high school last year. I uh, finished my high school last year. And uh, I am so. going to graduate on March. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, pues, si solo my graduation will be on March. Yeah. Uh, In March. Mm -hmm. In March. Yes, Thank you, congratulations, <laughs> very well done. Thank Yay. you. Yay, por ahí le están poniendo congratulations también en el chat. All right, nice. Okay, people, so uh, when we need to say RH in the past, we use the B verb in the past for I as was. ¿verdad? No se puede decir yo tenía, I had, sino que se debe decir yo era, ¿verdad? De tantos años, ¿ok? Entonces, tenemos que tener ese cuidado. I was 17 years old. I was 15 years old. I was 18 years old. Y tenemos que ser específicos with, uh, con los nombres, uh, perdón, con los números porque la pronunciación es muy importante. Una de las cosas es que cuando decimos después del 10, ¿verdad? Empezamos desde el 13, llegamos al 19, todos los números teen, la, el acento o la mayor fuerza de voz va en teen. Y vamos a tratar de pronunciarlo con la letra T fuerte. T, teen, ¿ok? Sería 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20, right? Y esto nos ayuda a nosotros que estamos aprendiendo para diferenciar si están hablando de los teens o si están hablando de los decenas, ¿verdad? Porque si yo digo eh, 30, se parece mucho a 13, a 13, ¿verdad? Entonces, 30. Ah, entonces va al principio el acento. 30, 40, 50, ¿ok? 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, ¿ok? Vemos la diferencia de la pronunciación. 13, 30, 14, 40, ¿ok? There you go. Let's be specific and very careful with the pronunciation of numbers. Now, the next question. The next question is, how old were you when you got your first job? 
How old were you when you got your first job? Vamos a usar la misma estructura. I was, decimos el número y después years old, okay? How old were you when you got your first job? Vamos a ver. Um, Jose Bernardo, how old were you when you got your first job? Hello, teacher. I was 20 years old. All right. Very young. Very young. Um, Tatiana, how old were you when you got your first job? I was uh, 14 years old. Very young. You were just a child. Yay. All right. Um, Claudia Maria, how old were you when you got your first job? I was 23. Very good, very good. Vemos ahí Lilibet puso, I was 13 years old, 13. Very good, really, really young, very young. Okay, le ganaron Bernardo. No, a quien fue, per, per, a Tatiana, a Tatiana, ajá. Uh -huh. Lily Beth va ganando, she's winning, okay? De, en, lo, en lo más joven, ¿verdad? Hmm. In the youngest. All right, let's look at Mauricio. How old were you when you got your first job? Um, I was my first job. Uh, 17. 17, all right. Yeah. Were you still in high school? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I work de temprano. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. I worked since, I work. mm -hmm, since I was yeah. very young. Okay. I yeah. worked okay. since I was very young. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Pablo, how old were you when you got your first job? I was 10 years old. 10, oh my goodness, yes. this is interesting. All right, and what was your job? I mean, what did you do in your first job? In, in a candy factory. Oh, really? Yes. This is interesting. Americana, no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, uh, okay, okay. No. It was como artesanal. Yes. Okay, good. So you know how to make candies and sweets. Uh, sí. <laughs> good, interesting. This is interesting. Uh, and do you work in anything related to it now? Mm, no. En algo parecido? No. No. Okay. I am engineer. Oh, all right. You are an engineer. <laughs> Pero bien puede poner su dulcería, niño. Muy bien. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bueno, Tatiana, how old were you when you got your first job, you said? 14. Uh, no, you said, uh, Tatiana? Yes, teacher. You were 14, I... you said, right? Uh, yes. Uh, 15. Oh, 15. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A ver, a quien no le he preguntado, levanten la mano. Karen. Karen, how old were you when you got your first job? No, Karen yet? Vladimir. I was 20 years old. Oh, you said it, right? Yes. All right. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you. Okay, people. Now, remember, you have to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say present. So I'm going to call the roll. Today is February the 17th. And it is Friday, right? Today, we have to submit our homework up to number 15 tonight, no later than tonight, all right? A ver, Cla Carlos, ah, oh, perdón, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Díaz. Present. Thank you. 
Cecilia, Jasmine, Mengíbar, Soto. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Present. Okay. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present teacher. Ok, Tacey Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Ok, Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Alguien me puso present ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, Imelda. Ok. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Ms. Karen. Luis Javier Castillo. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marina Chancy Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes, Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué Vázquez. Ok. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Presente. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present, teacher. Okay. So, people, let's continue with this thing. Uh, let's go to our manuals and, oh, uh, well, just remember the platform. In the platform, we had these true false activity, right? And I need you to submit your answers, okay? So let's just read at least the true false activity, okay? All right. <clears throat> So remember, read the article, then choose true or false to each statement, right? So let's read the questions. Number one, or the statement. Shakira knew who Pique was the, when they first met? The answer was false, okay? The answer was false. vamos a poner por acá. Para que las puedan visualizar. Here it is. The answer was false because she said that she wasn't a football fan um, or a soccer fan. So she didn't know who this guy was. It was in the set of Waka Waka when Shakira and Pique met. True. Waka Waka wasn't the official song of 2010 FIFA World Cup. True or false? True. Wasn't. Wasn't. Uh -huh. Es que dice acá, wasn't. ¿Verdad? Pero si sí era. Si sí era la canción oficial del 2010, ¿verdad? Del Mundial 2010. Entonces, this one is false. All right? So we go false, true, false. Now, the other one was, Piquet told that he was just as smitten as Shakira was. And yes, it was true because that's what he said to um, report it, right? 
Their first small talk was about the weather. That's what he said, okay? That's what he said. Maybe, maybe not, we don't know. That's what he said, but yeah, true, okay? True. It was in 2011 when they confirmed they were on a relationship. Yes, right, true. Okay, people, so the first one was false, true, false, true, true, true. Vamos a ver quién las tenía correctas. A ver, Emerson, solo me puso cinco, Emerson. Vamos a ver, Bernardo, false, true, false, true, true, true. Yes, Bernardo, there you go. Mauricio, la primera era false. A ver, y son seis. Hay que volver a leer ahí para sacarla, correcto. Vamos a ver, hay que actualizar por acá. A ver, ¿quién nos está poniendo ahorita? A ver, todos, por favor, submiten. Acuérdense que hoy es viernes, todo tiene que quedar hecho. Lo único que no queda hecho el día de hoy es si hubo una discusión, ¿verdad? Pero tareas y todo tiene que estar hecho, ¿ok? Bien. Esa es para que practiquen la lectura, ¿verdad? La lectura comprensiva. All right, let's continue, guys. That was the activity from yesterday. As a manner of feedback, too. Ahora vamos al manual. Let's go to our manuals. Just to finish the material about was and where. As the... Uh, you, uh, I mean, in the use of describing past situations, past events, past actions. So let's go to page number 40. Okay, number 40. We want to read an experience we have there. It's a paragraph about Maria's training. She went to a training, so someone is telling about her experience there. So let's read it. It says, este, miren, aquí ayer estábamos viendo y leímos que lo usamos, el pasado del B lo usamos para hablar de situaciones en el pasado. Y en todo caso sería describiendo las cosas con significado, era o estaba, ¿verdad? O fue, fui, ¿verdad? Bien, vamos a ver, fue pero no del verbo ir. Fue, del verbo ir es este, miren, went, ¿verdad? Go, went. Ese es fue, asistió, se movió de un lugar a otro, ¿ok? So that's, eh, fue. Marie went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful. And he clarified all dots Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. A ver, ¿alguien quiere leerlo? Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien quiere leerlo en voz alta? Please, for the whole class. Me teacher. Oh. All right. Uh, it was me, teacher. I don't know if it was Jose Alexander. ¿Quién me dijo mi teacher? I'm sorry. No lo logré identificar. All right, Mauricio, please. You may start. Okay. Mary went to the training in the Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix equipment she used and how to prevent the match on, on it. Uh, the presenter was really helped and 
he clarified up so Mary had he used a computer 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 to present computer he used a computer to present example during the speech the speech all right the speech. Mm -hmm. yes thank you thank you okay who goes next there was someone who said me too right pero no logré identificar quién era la otra persona. A ver, sin ninguna pena, dígame yo, teacher. Yo no fui, pero puedo leer. Ok, please, go ahead, José Alexander. Please read el, it. ¿El mismo? Yes. Ok. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. The speech. All right. Speech. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, Jose Alexander. Uh, is there anyone who wants to read? Anyone else who wants to read it? Daisy. Okay, please, Daisy, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learning how to fix the equipment she, she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all those. Mary Hen uh -oh. and he clarified all those Mary Hen. Mary had. Uh -huh. had. He uses a computer to present examples during the speech. Thank you very much, Daisy. Okay, let's refine some pronunciations. Some word pronunciation here. Okay. Ooh. Let's start by this one. Okay, let's start by when we have to say the name of a country, and this country obviously has our um, language, okay, Spanish, we can say it either both. You can say Guatemala or you can say Guatemala. It's not a problem, okay? Now, Tuesday. A ver, todos pronunciamos este día. Este no es Tuesday. Este es Tuesday. 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 Les voy a explicar algo que les va a ser muy útil. Cuando ustedes tengan dos letras, así como estas, vocales, forman un diptongo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en inglés, el diptongo no va a hacer que suenen las dos, sino que solo va a sonar la primera y la otra solo está de adorno, ¿ok? Solo va a estar silent, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a decir, el sonido largo de la U, ¿cuál es? You, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí suena Tuesday, no Tuesday, ¿verdad? No que Tuesday. ¿Vamos todos? Tuesday. 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 Ese es el caso de esta palabra. Tenemos otros casos, por ejemplo, training, que es el sonido largo de la A, ¿verdad? Sería A, ¿verdad? Que sería training. No nos afecta training. mucho. En este otro caso, donde es because, se han fijado que a veces decimos nosotros because, así como suena, ¿verdad? Because. Porque la A y la U unidas hacen un sonido de O. Aquí no es la misma regla que acá. 
Así que hay que ir conociendo un poquito, ¿verdad? Que esta palabra se pronuncia Tuesday, esta se pronuncia training y esta se pronuncia because, because, ¿ok? Ahora, tenemos otros sonidos, miren, unidos. Por ejemplo, learned, miren, tenemos una uh -huh. E y una A, ¿sí? Juntas, pero hay otros sonidos que nos afectan. Entonces, por eso acá tenemos que ir con mucho cuidado aprendiendo la fonética, ¿verdad? Learned, learned, learned. Hay un ed at the end y como esta es voiced, n, entonces tenemos que decir esta D. Esta E no va a sonar, va a sonar la D. Learned, learned. ¿Ok? Bien, acá en esta siempre tenemos problema porque nosotros decimos equipment, porque para nosotros es la Q, la U y la I hacen kin. Pero en inglés suena como el mismo caso este, ¿verdad? Equi equi equipment, equipment, ¿ok? Equi equi Así, equipment. Uh, vamos a ver, el otro es clarified, miren. Aquí suena la I, clarified, no clarified, clarified, miren, and he clarified. Ahora, tenemos otro sonido similar acá, miren, dots. La letra O tiene dos, bueno, todas las vocales tienen el sonido largo y el sonido corto. En este caso, la O nos va a sonar como una A, ¿verdad? Dots. That's. Esta B es silent. Esta U es silent. Ajá. Vamos directo. That's. Así. That's. Para decir dudas. ¿Verdad? All that's. All that's. Hmm? All that's Mary had. All that's Mary had. Aquí, acordémonos que es had. No hate. Had. 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 Um, esta palabra ya la conocemos y es computer, computer. A ver todos, computer. 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 Y tenemos en la última, esta que les dio un poquito de problema, es un sonido especial. Hay dos letras E, ¿verdad? Miren, el sonido largo de la E es I. Entonces vamos a decir Speech, speech, y un poquito más larguita la I, no vamos a decir speech, ¿verdad? Como cortito, no, va a decir speech, 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 un poquitito más largo de lo normal, ¿verdad? De lo que diríamos speech, así de rápido, ¿verdad? Va, lo voy a leer una vez más y nos vamos al breakout room para que ustedes contesten las preguntas que están abajo de, esta, de este párrafo, ¿ok? Marie went to training to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all thoughts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Okay, I will stop sharing. Vamos a ir al breakout room. Practican una vez la lectura y contestan las preguntas. ¿Ok? Che. Tell me. Um, yo quisiera que me disculpe porque cuando me voy a, al room, luego ya no puedo regresar a la clase. Me saca. Ah. Eh, pero sí la ha actualizado la, 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 la aplicación. Ayer por bueno, desde hace tres días que me estaba dando como problema, lo que Ajá. Hacer, Ajá. pero ya llevo dos días que si me meto al room, me salgo, ya no vuelvo a regresar. Ah, ok, entonces vamos a dejar un grupo acá, en el main room, para que usted no se salga, ok, para que okay. no se vaya a otro grupo. All right. Ok, gracias. Bien, vamos a ver entonces, ¿entendido lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. All right.
Ok. ¿Saben qué? Lo vamos a hacer que ustedes escojan el, el, el grupo. Ok. Aquí se pueden quedar Daisy. ¿Alguien quiere quedarse con Daisy que tenga el mismo problema a la hora de pasar al, al breakout room? Alguien que le dé problemas se puede quedar acá. Ok. En todo caso, creo que puede quedarse, creo que era, que le daba bastante problema. O oh, Wendy, Wendy, quédese usted con Daisy. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos entonces todos uniéndose a, lo, a los grupos. Solo vamos a hacer poquitos grupos porque hay varios oyentes. Ok, van a haber varios en cada grupo. Ahí están. Escoja el grupo al que usted quiere irse. Se nos fue Wendy. Mauricio. Mauricio. Si quiere se queda aquí practicando usted con Daisy. Ok. Ya pueden comenzar ustedes acá. Ok. Hola Daisy. Ah, hola Mauricio. Vaya. Oh, yeah. eh, practicamos la lectura. Tú practicas, yo practico y después contestamos las preguntas. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, listo. Ok, comienza entonces. Ah, pero ya me quedo, no tengo ni pantalla, ahorita la voy. ¿No tenés para compartir en pantalla? No, no, no puedo. Espérame. Voy a ir al libro. Ya la mandé en el WhatsApp, Daisy. Ah, ok, teacher, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok. Te agradezco. Uh -huh. Ay, Mauricio. Ok. Vaya, aquí ahorita voy. Los demás, por favor, únanse a los grupos. Únanse a los grupos para que puedan estar escuchando, aunque estén de oyentes, pueden estar escuchando a sus compañeros practicar, ¿ok? Ok. Mary went to a training in Guatemala. Plus two is Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned, learned how to fix the equipment she uses, uses, uses and how to prevent damages on it. The present present was really helpful, helpful, and she clarified all down. Mary Hand, she uses a computer computer to present examples during the speech. Okay. Soy yo. Okay. Mary went to training in the Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix equipment she used and how to prevent the match only. The person was really helpful 
and he clarifies all though Mary had. He used a computer to present example during the speech. Okay. Hello, Mauricio. Uh, Hello. You have you have Jose Bernardo here too, okay? Practice with okay. Jose Bernardo. Wow. Okay. Jose Bernardo. Ya le ya leímos nosotros él lee la parte. No. Lee lee lo. Leo el cuadrito. ¿Eh? Uh -huh. Okay. Marie went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really. Finish, teacher. All the we questions? Finish. Yes. Okay, so practice the reading, please. Okay, teacher. Mari went to a training in Guatemala last... <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. The training was in interesting because she learned how to flex the equipment she used and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all but the wood though that and Mary had all all dots uh-huh all dots that Mary uh -huh. had Mary had he used a computer to present examples uh, during the speech Okay, now Claudia, please. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damage on damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts. Mary had he uses a computer to present examples during the speech. All right. Aquí bien dijo present. Mire, entonces acá es presenter. Okay. No presenter, sino que presenter. Okay. Good. Good, Claudia. All right. All right. You may go to the main session. All right. Let's go back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y el otro es, do you, did he use example? Yes. Sí, yes. Yes, yes. 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 he was. He was. Yeah. Eh, copió Daisy. Daisy. Yes, yes. Eh, eh, va, ok. Gracias, compañeros. Vaya. La orden. <ríe> si quieren, hay tiempito, podemos seguir leyendo. Pero vamos a aprender de José Bernardo. Ok. 
¿Puedes leer de nuevo, José Bernardo? Ok, estoy. Vamos a aprender, escuchamos los sonidos. Mario went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really help, helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Okay. Daisy, continue. Okay. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to for the equip equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presser was really helpful. And he clarified all those. Those. Doubts. Those. Marine Han, he uses a computer to present uh, he uses a computer to present examples during the uh, speech. Okay, thank you, Daisy. You <laughs> see, you did it better. Very good, you improved <laughs> it. So yes. now guys, how was the training? How was the training? What is the answer there? How was the training? It was interesting. It was very good. It was very interesting. All right. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Okay. Let's continue. When was the training? When was the training? It was training. Uh, it was last Tuesday. Yes. Thank you. Did you like it? Or did she like it? Mm -hmm. Did she like it? Yes, she did. Yes. Right? Yes, 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 she did. Aquí está. Esta es did. Did. Okay. Es tiempo pasado. Si se fijan, hay una diferencia entre usar el verbo to be y usar cualquier otro verbo. Entonces, acuérdense que el verbo to be es totalmente independiente y se convierte también en un auxiliar en su momento, ¿verdad? Para hacer otros tiempos verbales. Entonces, acá una pregunta directa en tiempo pasado, una respuesta directa en tiempo pasado. Yes. She did. Ahí tiene error esta pregunta. Did she like it? What did she learn? What did she learn? She. Uh -huh. What did she learn? She. Oh, learned did how to flip. Mm -hmm. How to flip. How to fix, fix, <laughs> yes, uh, how to fix, flix es el, el, el sitio de película, vea, <laughs> how to fix the equipment, uh -huh, she uses, the equipment she uses, and what else, not only that, she learned two things or more things, right? Uh, it says, and how to prevent damages on it, right? And how to prevent damages on it. Was the presenter helpful? Was the presenter helpful? Una pregunta directa, una respuesta directa, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was, aha, uh -huh. okay, yes, he was. Y luego, did he use examples? Did 
Did he use examples? Yes. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. he did. Yes, he, he did. did. Uh -huh. He did. Entonces, veamos que tenemos que ser congruentes con nuestra respuesta. En español solamente decimos sí o no, ¿verdad? No andamos viendo uh -huh. que si era, si estaba, si tenía, si lo hizo. No, 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 des, no es necesaria la otra parte en español. En inglés sí es necesaria. No solo yeah, no, no, ahí estamos mal. Entonces tenemos que hacerlo con el verbo que nos preguntan. Was the presenter helpful? Yes, he was. Did he use examples? Yes, he did. Entonces... Acordémonos de esto, ¿verdad? El auxiliar que usan, ese uso yo para contestar, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver entonces la estructura de una pregunta directa. What is the structure of a direct question? A direct question just requires a yes or no answer. And also, it's just to confirm information. We use the verb to be at the beginning. Look, was. Así como lo usamos en el tiempo presente, en el principio, Así lo usamos en el pasado al principio, ¿ok? Was. Y depende del de sujeto la forma que yo voy a usar. Porque yo puedo usar también eh, la otra forma, ¿verdad? Entonces, les voy a mostrar unos ejemplos de preguntas directas usando was and where. ¿Ok? A ver, veámoslas por acá. It's just a short list of questions. And now you think about the answer on your own, okay? By your own information. Okay, and it says, were you late for work in the morning? Were you late for work in the morning? ¿Ibas tarde para el trabajo en la mañana? ¿Estabas tarde? A ver, si su respuesta es negativa, ¿cómo diríamos? Mm -hmm. No. It was. It was. I wasn't. Yes. Cambia. Igual como en el presente, ¿verdad? Nos preguntan, are you? No, I'm not. Ok. Igual aquí. Were you late for work in the morning? No, I wasn't. Okay, I was early. I was on time. All right. Was your boss in the office when you arrived to work last week? Was your boss in the office when you arrived to work last week? A ver, según la información de ustedes, su jefe ya estaba ahí cuando ustedes llegaron en la semana pasada. O él llegó después de ustedes. Um, yes, well, he was. Yes, he was. All right. He was in the office. Okay. Aquí es una respuesta corta y sería yes. Yes. He yes. Was. 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 Yes, he was. Very good. Was the marketing manager's assistant invited to the online training? Aquí podemos inventar yes or no. A ver, ¿qué le ponemos? Positive or negative? No, wasn't. Okay. No? No, uh -huh. she, she okay. wasn't. Very good. It's a woman here. So, no, she wasn't. Ahora, si ese asistente de marketing es varón, entonces decimos, no, he wasn't. Right? Y si sí lo invitaron y no llegó, ya es culpa de él. Entonces, no, no. yes, he was. Right? No estamos la responsabilidad que si lo invitamos. All right. Where the procedure is easy to follow? Where the procedure is easy to follow? A ver, una respuesta X. It's, it's Where? Y, a ver, este es plural, miren. Por eso estamos usando where. Ah, yeah. ¿Verdad? Y son varios procedimientos según esto. Where the mm -hmm. procedures? procedures? Yes. Entonces, ¿cómo contestamos? Yes. They were. They were. Very good. Porque they también es para cosas, pero mm -hmm. muchas cosas o en plural. De dos en adelante ya es they. Vamos a ver next one. Were you in training yesterday? Yes, I was. Thank you. 
Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Estas preguntas son para confirmar información, es uno de los usos. Y otro es para <ríe> agarrar en la mentira a alguien. No, son bromas. That's mm -hmm. joking. <ríe> That's just joking, ¿ok? Estas son preguntas directas que requieren nada más una confirmación, sí o no, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés se tiene que poner el tiempo verbal, ¿verdad? Se tiene que poner el verbo con el que me están preguntando. All right, done. Veamos la estructura. The be verb in past. It could be was or were depending on the subject because ne next it goes the subject. Then, si tenemos, por ejemplo, un adverb of frequency, va a ir después, ¿verdad? Si no, eh, lo que va ahí yeah, ya sería el complemento, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Veamos acá. Was your boss. Was, be verb, your boss subject in the office when you arrived to work last week. Ese ya es complement, ¿ok? Vamos a ver la siguiente. Was, the verb in past, the marketing manager's assistant. Todo eso es el sujeto, ¿verdad? And then the complement, invited to the online training. En este caso tenemos una voz pasiva. Por eso tenemos invited aquí como un verbo. ¿verdad? Aquí está como un verbo en pasado participio. Este es el pasado participio. Ya, ya conocemos un poquito el presente, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver. Entonces dice, Was the marketing manager's assistant invited to the online training? Was the verb, the marketing manager's assistant subject invited to the, invited is the verb, to the online training is the complement. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Were the procedures easy to follow? Were be verb in the past? The procedures, subject, easy to follow, complement. Were you, were be in past, you, subject, and then we have the complement. And don't forget, if you are writing, write the question mark, all right? Because if you don't write the question mark, it's not a question, it's just a statement. So we have to be careful with that. Thank you very much. So now let's go back, all right? Now let's talk about the good behavior, all right? The good behavior. What is good behavior? What is good behavior? Good behavior. ¿Qué será eso? Mm -hmm. Ok, pensemos entonces, good behavior es un buen comportamiento, ¿verdad? Good behavior es buen comportamiento. Pensemos, what are some qualities a good employee needs to have? What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Yes. Good attitude. Good attitude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Responsible. Responsible. Yes. Si nos vamos a los valores de la empresa, ahí encontramos lo que quieren, cómo nos comportemos nosotros en la compañía, ¿verdad? In the company. Okay. Let's think about these qualities and let's make a list. Hagamos un listado. A ver, you said responsible, um, good attitude. Is efficient. Effic uh, efficient. Uh -huh. Attent. Attentive. Okay, attentive. Mm -hmm. 
Punctual. Punctual. Mm -hmm. Proactive. Proactive. That's a very good one in these days. Mm -hmm. Responsible. Responsible, yes. Reactive. I'm sorry, Mauricio. Creative. 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 Hmm? Creative. Initiative. Yes, he has to have an uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. Integrity. Integrity. Mm -hmm. He has to show integrity, right? Mm -hmm. Respectable. Uh huh. Showing respect, right? He has to show respect to his colleagues, to the clients, or in general, right? To their bosses, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, that's a good behavior. So, now let's think about bad qualities. What will be the bad qualities? Let's say the opposites. Hmm? Unloyal, okay, disrespectful, mm -hmm. disrespectful, uh huh. What else? Discretion and discretional, mm -hmm. yeah, liar, yes, liar, mm -hmm. liar. liar. Mm -hmm. A late comer, right? Late comer. Mm -hmm. Que siempre llega tarde, un tardista. Late comer. Mm -hmm. What lazy. else? A lazy one. Uh -huh. He never finishes what he, what he starts, right? Mm -hmm. A lazy one. Mm -hmm. With a bad attitude. With a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. Usually when someone has a bad attitude, just saying attitude, mm -hmm. we just know that he has a bad attitude, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think, what do you think human resources need to see or need to take in consideration to promote someone? What qualifications, what qualities, what characteristics are important for the human resources people um, to give a promotion? Responsible. Responsible. Accountable. Responsible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Initiative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Initiative. Mm -hmm. Proactive. Proactive. All right. That's good. Now we are going back. Smiley. So, smiley. Yes. And your job is really important to be smiley all the time, even if your feet hurt, right? Aunque le duelen los pies, están así ustedes, ¿verdad? Wendy, ahí go again. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, vamos a ver entonces. Vámonos a la página 35, uh, 36. Perdón, 36. Ahí en la página 36 tenemos la última cosa, la última actividad de el presente progresivo. Okay? El presente progresivo, ¿se recuerdan cómo es? Be verb in, in present and ing verb form. Okay, entonces, 
pensemos ahorita usando estos verbos que están acá, plan, call, check, write, send, speak. Pensemos en una oración. Me voy a poner en silencio y ustedes se meten a la pantalla y escriben una oración, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. En presente progresivo, ese es solo a manera de saltar para la 37, nos vamos a ir después, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Estoy tratando de ponerlo. Ok, este es solo para acordarnos del presente progresivo. Bien. Ok, esto solo a manera de que recuerden un poquito el contexto en que estábamos en esta, era acerca de que estaban haciendo una llamada telefónica, ok, someone was calling in and asking for the qualifications and the behavior of someone in the company, and it says Mr. Regine, and he asked, right, we, and he says, We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez, y ya dan la información de él, ¿verdad? Does not have, etc. Entonces, estas acciones que hace Human Resources, por ejemplo, we are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a, man, as a manager. Esas son en presente progresivo. Esa es la forma que vamos a escribir algunas Oraciones acá with plan, call, check, write, send, and speak. Me voy a poner en silencio y métanse a la pantalla a escribirlos, ¿ok? Va. There you are, Maurice. A ver, todos escribiendo ahí una oración en la pantalla. Vamos a ver. Eh, es que casi no los miro. Siento que solo estoy con tres personas, chicos. A ver. She was uh -huh. write, writing write letter. Vaya, aquí me puso el tiempo pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces lo vamos a hacer a tiempo presente ahorita. Okay. She is. She right, right. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. He is writing. Uh -huh. Letter. Very good. Okay. I, I call. Call the, cl the clients. Vaya, en tiempo presente progresivo sería I am calling. Call. I am calling the clients. Mm. 
Plan es el eh, cómo preparar. Plan. Clients. No, eh, ¿cuál? no. La primera. First. Plan, plan, planificar. Sí. Ah, como plan. Uh -huh. Ajá. We, we are. Plan. De trabajo. Next, next week. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. Teacher, eh, le voy a dictar la mía porque yo no puedo escribirla ahí. Okay, Sandra, please. You are dancing alone. Ok, solo que no tenemos aquí el verbo, pero lo vamos a escribir. Oh, you, okay. uh -huh. you are dancing uh -huh. alone. Pobrecito. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> ok, thank you very much, Sandra. Ok, people, this is just to remember the, um, the present progressive, ok? And finishing the activities we had on the manual. Remember, today is Friday, so we do our used um, feedback and review and practice, ok? So now let's go to the next uh, activity we have left. One second. To complete the manual. And this is kind of long, okay? Because we want to talk about the qualities of a good employee. And also we are going to evaluate because that's the procedure that HR does. HR is always evaluating, right? So we are going to see two different employees' performances. So we are going to compare We have Raúl Pérez and we have Karen Solano. Those are two employees in a company. So we have to evaluate their characteristics and we want to discuss uh, who is the best candidate to be promoted, okay? They are looking for promoting someone. So we want to help evaluating these two people in the company, okay? So let's go to page 37, page 37. Page 37. And this is really uh, interesting because we are always looking at people in the company that they have different atti attitudes, right? Some people are easygoing and some people are really hard to um, hard to take right we cannot suffer that people so we are going to read this it says read the employee's performance report discuss with a partner who is the best candidate to be promoted and en, en vez de irnos a los breakout rooms vamos a hacerlo acá pero eso sí yo no voy a discutirlo, sino que esto tiene que ser entre ustedes. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer acá? Vamos a discutir cuáles de estas características de este listado las cumple y cuáles no las cumple. Miren, las que no cumple están sin la X, ¿verdad? Not crossed. Y luego tiene unas observations. Hay una corrección acá que hacer. Miren, aquí en vez de late va a ser punctual, ¿ok? Late va a ser punctual, ¿ok? Aquí este está equivocado. Así que corríjanle esa partecita ahí. Entonces, tenemos que evaluar. We have to evaluate Raúl Pérez and evaluate also Karen Solán. These are the performance report of each one. So we want to read their characteristics and the observations from their uh, high superior level, right? Their superior level. And then we are going to give a conclusion. 
We are going to say, I think, ¿cuál de estos dos vamos a promover? Si vamos a promover a Raúl o vamos a promover a Karen, ¿ok? Pero tenemos que darle un soporte a nuestra respuesta, ¿verdad? I think so and so should be promoted because this and this and that, ¿ok? Something, something. Si ¿Sí se entiende lo que vamos a hacer, yo me voy a poner en silencio y ustedes van a discutir. You are going to discuss. Please, use your vocabulary. Your vocabulary. Try not to speak Spanish, okay? Avoid Spanish and speak English as much as you can, all right? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? ¿Alguna pregunta? Do you have questions about the activity? Do you have questions about the activity? No questions? Okay. Sí, teacher. Sí, teacher. Clear. Eh, ah, okay. Ya, ya que ya están, ya están clasificando al trabajador en punto. Exactly. Esta es la lista de las características. ¿Qué características cumple o no cumple? Exacto. Las que no cumple están en vacío aquí, ¿ve? Las que sí cumple tienen una X. Ok. Ajá. Ok. Ahí vamos a hacer la comparación en las dos para ver quién de ellos es que se merece el promo. Exactly. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. All right. Thank you. All right, you may start now. I will mute myself. Ok, voy a tomar un minutito más. La actividad es esto, miren. Discuss, ok. Discuss with your partners. Así que no pueden estar en silencio. Todos van a comentar y a discutir, ok. Everybody discussing and commenting the lists, the observations, what do you think about, all right. I will move myself again. Ahorita estamos leyendo, teacher. So please read aloud. A ver, leamos en voz alta. Pongámonos ahí todos a platicar. Necesito bulla yo aquí. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm reading performance reports. Teacher, eh, el que no tiene una X, es eh, ¿por qué no? Exactly, no la cumple esa, por eso no tiene, por eso ahí está el espacio en blanco. It's in blank. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a blank space. Okay.
All right, let's read it together. Okay. Employees performance report. This is a form, right? This is a form and it says, employee's name, Raul Perez. Let's read about the characteristics or the uh, evaluation, right? The employee shows commitment to work? Yes. The employee is always punctual? No, right? The employee does not violate rules. Yes. yes. The employee follows indications. Yes. yes. Okay, who wants to read the next one? Lex le likes. Uh huh. Likes to work in group. Yes. Yes. Next one. Pop Focus focuses on, focuses on, on his responsibility. responsibilities. Responsibilities? Responsibilities, uh -huh. yes. Yes, all right. Next one. Complete, no. Complete, uh -huh. complete the work assignment. Very yes. good. Ahora, la pronunciación sería así. Completes. Com ah, completes. The work assigned. The work completes assigned. the work assigned. Hmm? Complete the work assigned. Yes. Yes. Very good. It, uh, it's a uh, leader. 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 Uh -huh. leader. No. Uh -huh. No. All right. The employee communicates ideas. Communicates ideas, yes. Okay, next one. Is proactive? No. No. Mm -hmm. Is collaborator? Collaborative. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Has a positive active attitude? Attitude, atti, attitude, attitude. Mm -hmm. Attitude, yes. Yes. Okay, let's read the observations about Raul Perez. It says, observations. He usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he's not a proactive person. All right, let's read about Karen Solano, okay? Vamos a ver, vamos a leer acerca de Karen, Karen Solano. This is her employee's performance report, okay? Vamos a ver, let's start. The employee shows commitment to work? Yes. Yes. The employee is always punctual. Yes. 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 The employee does not violate rules? No. Not oh. checked. Not checked. Follows Pardon? indications? Yes. yes. Checked. There you go. Likes to right. group? Yes. yes. Checked. Pakistan and his responsibilities? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. What's the next one? Complete yes. the work assigned. Complete. Yes. All right. Next one? This leader. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Communicate ideas. 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 Yes. Yes. Is proactive. Yes. Yes. Is collaborative. Ted. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Has a positive attitude. Yes. 
Okay, let's read the observations. Observation. She, she observation usually comes late, but she does violate the rules sometimes. sometimes. Also, also, she, she doesn't, doesn't have a positive attitude in some case, case, but she has a leadership skill. skills. All right, she has leadership skills, but it says mm, she does violate the rules sometimes. Violet. Okay, yeah, violets. Mm -hmm. So let's go over here and let's try to make a conclusion. What is your recommendation as an HR generalist here or a talent manage manager here? Get in Paris and discuss why should Mr. Paris and Ms. Solano should be promoted. En este caso estamos todos en grupo. Acordémonos que se nos yeah. dificulta bastante ir al break up room varias veces. Entonces, let's support our answers. Otra vez, yo me pongo en oh, mute yeah. y lo mm -hmm. van a hacer ustedes, ¿ok? Yo me pongo en silencio y okay. ustedes lo hacen. All right. Hello a todos. I think... Hello. I think Karen, Karen Solano eh, promote because uh, she is a uh, leadership. Please, Nelly, write it down. What? Uh, the principal um, and Raul Perez is not proactive. Much. No, he doesn't have a leadership. For me, Elita, andate para el guardia, soy una actividad, por favor. ¿Qué piensan? ¿A quién ascendemos? Hmm. A mí. A ti, Sher. Yeah, a mí. <laughs> Emerson. 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 ¿Estás de acuerdo o no? To be honest, I will continue interview. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you think none of them? Yeah. Ninguno Don't de agree ellos. With the, uh -huh. the candidate. Okay, they you have don't a, agree. They have a very bad tables. Okay. So it, it will be like because in the because in the case is will they have a, a decision, maybe a Mr. Perez. Mauricio, support your idea. Entonces contactemos los de afuera. <laughs> Ajá, posteemos lo de regreso el, sí. el trabajo. <laughs> okay, but let's let's think about this. Let's think about this. We have to think about the pros and cons. Los pros y contras, right? Pros and cons. So let's think about Mr. Perez. He usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he's not a proactive person. Is a requirement to have leadership skills? I think it is because it's in the list, all right? So if he doesn't have these leadership skills, he's not a good candidate, right? And he and if he is not proactive, he he cannot go to a next level. Uh, he's going to 
fail over there, right? So let's think about Karen. It says she usually comes, I'm busy late, sería early, okay, or on time. She usually comes on time, but she does violate the rules sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has leadership skills. All right. Now, if we promote Mr. Raul, ¿por qué? If we promote eh, Miss Solano, ¿por qué? Emerson no quiere ninguno de los dos. Mauricio dice Miss Solano. Uh -huh. I, my Raúl. Teacher. For me. Eh, eh, Raúl Pérez uh, good, can, candidate good because I have very experience when when un trabajador when, when a worker when a worker have problem to come in life Never, never change. Oh. Always coming late. He's always late. All right. Even though for they me, are. For me, Raul, no. No, Raul. All right. So you think about Miss Karen, right? And uh, should be promoted because. A ver, vamos a poner acá. Miss Solan. Okay. I think Miss Solano should be promoted because. Acordémonos que este late estaba eh, equivocado, okay? Este late. This is eh, on time or early or punctual. Mm -hmm. Now let's give the reasons. Let's evaluate. She is punctual. Es punctual, uh -huh. uh, always punctual, right? Remember, she is always punctual. Uh -huh. She violates the rule. I'm sorry? Uh, that could be a warning too. That could be a warning because I, uh, I think we could write this. Um, uh, the pros, the pros first. All right, the pros will be that she has leader skills. Okay, and also it says That's she true. is okay. She is proactive. She is collaborative. Uh, she communicates ideas. She's a leader. All right, so she has more good attitudes in uh, against the bad attitudes because it says some cases not all the cases but some cases uh she doesn't have a positive attitude but we can talk to her right we can uh i don't know if we could remodel that uh, um um uh, that qual qualification, all right? So for example, I would say, but she has to be warned about the bad attitude. The bad attitude, okay? Ahí vamos bien, ¿verdad? She's always punctual. She has leadership skills. She's proactive. She's collaborative. And she has to be told about her bad attitude, okay? She has to manage that in a different way, okay? 
Esa es mi opinión. What do you think? What do you think? A ver, what do you think? Pablo, what do you think? José Alexander, Bernardo, Sandra. Do you agree with my conclusion? Daisy, Tatiana, Emerson, Nelly. Hey guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, my opinion. No prom no promo. Mm -hmm. No ni a la ni a Karen ni al señor porque fallan en <laughs> En puntos bien fuertes. Ok. None sí. of them. Así, miren, none of them. Ninguno de los dos. ¿Verdad? None of them. All right. Son buenos en unas cualidades, pero las más puntuales las descuidan. Ok. Ok. Thank you very much, Daisy. Ok, okay people, what's your opinion? Any other opinion? What do you think? Ah, teacher, for me, Miss Solano. Okay. Because she has more good attitudes and we can speak with her to change the uh, little things. All right. All right. She, she can remodel, right? She can manage in a different way the bad attitude. Yes. All right. I agree with you, Jose Bernardo. Okay. So... I agree. Okay, now let's go to the next page. And in the next page, sorry. In the next page, we have to ask questions and give some answers. So let's ask the questions as the examples. Let's read the first one. Does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Is he a leader? Ok, vamos entonces a ver en esta lista. Ok. ¿Qué preguntas podemos hacer de cada uno? Tenemos que hacer siete allá, ¿verdad? Entonces, comencemos por acá. Esta ya está, ¿verdad? Hablemos de esta otra. Is he always punctual? Ok. Vaya, ayúdenme ustedes ahí con las demás. Does he respect the rules? Oh, sorry. Make their rules. Mm -hmm. Here is Kim. Does he follow indications? Very good. Does he follow indications? Okay. Ahí acordémonos de que cualidades de personas es con el verbo ser o estar. Ahora, acciones y actitudes es con el does, porque es una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, likes to work in group, iría con does o con el is. Does. Does. Yes, does because it's like, a verb. Mm -hmm. Does he like to? Thank you. Does he like to work in group? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Is he focused on his responsibility? Okay, ahí hay una cosa bien interesante como lo dice su compañero. Is he, si lo ponemos así, estaría correcto, okay? Is he focused on his responsibilities. Ahora, 
Ahora sería de otra manera. Does he focus, right? Focus and his on his on his. Okay. Aquí ya sería usando ahí. usando el verbo en el tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Aquí es como está enfocado, estaría muy diferente, ¿verdad? Está enfocado en sus responsabilidades o aquí se enfoca en sus responsabilidades, vemos la diferencia, ¿verdad? Aquí como cualidad y aquí como una acción. Vamos a la siguiente. Complete. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. yes. There you are. Ok, y ahí ya tenemos varias para poner allá. ¿Cómo responderíamos estas preguntas? How do you answer this? Vamos a bajarlas para que lleguen. Ok. ¿Cómo las respondemos? Todas estas son preguntas directas. All of these are direct questions. So they just require a yes, no answer. Okay? They required a yes, no answer. But there you go. For example, we have these two answers. Look. We have these two answers. Uh, does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't, right? In this case, it says, yes, he does. Is he a leader? Is he a leader? Yes, he is. Actually, he isn't, right? But we could say, no, he isn't, according to the performance report. But if we want just to answer questions by uh, uh i mean in our i mean by our own information then it's okay we can say yes or no right so for example is he always punctual no he isn't no he isn't does he follow indications yes he does yes he does very good does he respect the rules Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right. Uh, is he focused on his responsibilities? Aquí podemos, is he? And estoy en la primera. Yes, yes he is. He is. Very good. Y si lo hubiéramos preguntado con does, hubiéramos dicho, yes, he does. Yes. Okay. Does he complete the work assigned? Yes, he does. Y así das. Entonces, quedemos siempre y tengamos ese cuidado que de acuerdo a cómo nos preguntan, así contestamos. Si es en el tiempo presente de cualquier verbo que no sea hacer o estar, vamos a usar das para la tercera persona. Y si es el verbo to be, que es una de las cualidades inherentes de la persona, es o está, quiere decir entonces que vamos a usar el verb be. ¿Ok? Sucede lo mismo con el tiempo pasado, que era lo, con lo que iniciamos, ¿ok? Iniciamos con las preguntas directas con el tiempo pasado del B. Se contesta exactamente igual, solo que eh, eh, tenemos que tener el cuidado de acuerdo al pronombre, ¿verdad? Porque puede ser que me hayan preguntado, where you, are you, y yo voy a contestar, I am, o I was. Okay, bien. Is there any question so far? Is there any question? No questions? Okay, then. 
in the media conference number 15, you were going to find the, um, the discussion posted and it's about your qualifications, okay? Your qualifications to be promoted. Why should you be promoted? in your company what are your contributions what are your good qualities what's your good behavior what are your good characteristics okay that's what you have to write usualmente se nos dificulta tanto por nuestra forma cultural expresarnos de nosotros mismos lo bueno que somos pero es necesario que seamos directos y que seamos honestos, ¿verdad? Let's be honest and let's be direct. When we describe ourselves, when we describe our good attitude, because we need the promotion and we want to apply for a promotion, so we have to learn how to express our good behavior, okay? What are our contributions? That's what we are trying to do. Así que no vayan a tener ninguna pena, por favor, sean honestos, examínense y vean ustedes, oh, chicas, si yo siempre llego temprano, no, hombre, o sea, yo, miren, me dicen que me quede hasta tarde y aunque no me paguen, yo me quedo, ¿verdad? Yo no ando peleando con nadie, ah, yo no ando chambreando, o sea, todas esas cuestiones ustedes las van a escribir, ¿verdad? Ustedes las van a escribir de acuerdo a lo que usted es, o lo que usted está haciendo, o lo que usted eh, eh, hace, ¿ok? Hace. Es decir, va a usar does y va a usar is, ¿ok? Va a usar do y va a usar eh, am o are, ¿ok? Dependiendo de los, del sujeto que utilice cuando se describa. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Si ¿Sí estamos bien, si hay alguna pregunta, por favor, me dicen en este mismo instante. Y esto por WhatsApp lo vamos a mandar. No, Mauricio, eso está en la plataforma. Ahí siempre en la, en la de discusiones, abajo de la videoconferencia número 15, usted encuentra okay. este, esa pregunta de discusión. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Bien, y luego pues háganme la tarea hasta la número 15, por favor, el día de hoy, que no nos vayan a decir, mire, el participante tal no ha presentado, que no vayan a ver reportes, ¿verdad? Así que por favor, les suplico que este día quede subido hasta la número 15 y si puede más, mejor, ¿verdad? No más mejor, sino que si puede más coma, mejor. <ríe> ok, ya están los pisques. Y es hora, ok. Bien, ahora le toca a, eh, habíamos dicho Marían, ¿verdad? Eh, Marían, no sé, ella estaba como oyente, no sé si ya está available para poder participar en la sesión uno a uno. Marían. Marían. ¿Está disponible? Que se está conectando desde el trabajo según me entonces, vamos a ver, eh, ¿alguien quiere quedarse? ¿No? Hoy hay fresco de tamarindo. No, vaya, pues no. Ay, vaya, pues. Mi teacher. Usted sí quiere fresco de tamarindo. Yes. Vaya, pues, Wendy, perfecto. You stay. Everybody have a very good night. See you Monday. Please do your homework and see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night. bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.
buy a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, Wendy, tell me, dígame, how can I assist you? ¿Cómo le buy puedo ayudar? Buy a t-shirt. Yo lo que, no, lo que me he confundido, bueno, sí, sí lo entendí, vea. A veces, le voy a ser bien sincera, me quedo en Aviluna, porque no entiendo, pero estoy aprendiendo. Es acerca de los de las oraciones que hizo de por último en el cuadro. Ahí me quedé. <risa> ah, las me preguntas. Quedé. Sí, ahí las me quedé preguntas. en alguna ticha. Ok. Esa es la manera de repaso de lo que habíamos visto. Ok. Ajá. Acuérdese que los tiempos verbales eh, los tenemos que ir manejando porque... Nosotros no hablamos solo en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Sino que uh -huh. utilizamos el verbo to be. Y el verbo to be es muy independiente de los otros verbos. Entonces, el to be tiene su propia forma de, de usarse. Uh -huh. Entonces, en esas, en, esas dos pre, eh, en esas preguntas que son de dos tipos, siempre son en tiempo presente las dos. Uh -huh. Pero una es con cualquier verbo que no sea to be y las otras con el verbo to be. Ok, entonces vamos a verlas. Tiempo presente. Ajá, entonces vamos a verlas. Ups, permítame. Ahí, cabrón. Espérame, espérame. Ok, ahí sí. Acá. Entonces, tenemos por acá uh -huh, dos tipos de preguntas, pero que se responden exactamente igual, porque solo vamos a responder que sí o que no, porque no tiene ninguna, ninguna palabra de pregunta antes, ¿verdad? Sino que estamos usando directamente el auxiliar del verbo, ¿verdad? Aquí, mira. Entonces, usamos does cuando es he, she, it. En este caso es Mr. Sí. Pérez. She is. Ajá. It. No, ajá, exacto. It. it. Ajá. Y, el, y es cuando es cualquier acción o verbo que no sea ser o estar, ¿verdad? Ajá. En este caso el verbo es show. Mire, show, mostrar. Mira, show. Entonces dice la pregunta. Does Mr. Pérez show? Commitment to work, entonces tengo que poner el auxiliar, does, porque aquí no es is, ¿verdad? No es are, sí. ni es am. Um. Aquí es show, muy diferente. En este sí, necesito preguntar, ¿es él un líder? Ahí sí tengo que usar el verbo ser o estar, ¿verdad? El verbo ser o estar nosotros lo conjugamos como yo soy... Tú eres, él es, ella es, eso es, nosotros somos, ustedes son, ellos son. Entonces, todo eso son, es y todo esto es lo que vamos a usar al principio. En este caso dice, es él un líder, ¿verdad? Is uh -huh. he a leader? Ahí es Ajá. como lo vamos usando. Entonces, vamos arriba y vemos las características que por acá decía. Mire. Entonces, Ajá. por ejemplo, acá. Mmm, esta primera, mire, usa el is. Entonces, mi pregunta Ajá. tiene que ser con is. ¿Verdad? Con is. Entonces, le vamos a poner is he. Porque tiene que llevar el sujeto, ¿verdad? Is Is sí. always punctual. Y ahí ya tenemos nuestra pregunta. ¿Y cómo contestamos ah. esta pregunta? Yes. He is. Si es negativa, is no. He isn't. No. He isn't. He isn't. Ajá. Así es. Mir. Sabe. Uh -huh. Is he always punctual? Yes, he is. O si es negativa, no, he isn't. En este caso, la verdad es que él no es puntual, Mir. No, no es puntual. Entonces podemos solo contestar con negativo. Ok. 
porque estamos diciendo la verdad de acuerdo a este listado, ¿verdad? Exacto. Vale, de ahí otra pregunta que podemos sacar es, por ejemplo, follows indications. Vamos a sacar esto. Follow es un verbo diferente de ser o estar. Entonces voy a usar does. Mire, does. Follow indications. Does he follow indications? Aquí ya no le ponemos letra S. Aquí decía letra S, pero aquí. Sí, cierto. Porque ya tenemos das, ¿verdad? El das Ajá. hace quitarle la letra S al ver. Entonces, does he follow indications? Indication. También podemos responder de acuerdo a lo que vemos acá. Aquí está marcado que sí. Ah, pues entonces sí sigue indicaciones. Le vamos a poner Ajá. yes. He, que es el, la persona que estamos hablando. Yes. Sí, sí. Pero vamos a usar el auxiliar que nos, con el que nos preguntaron. Okay. Yes, he does. Sí. Aquí, bien, cuando no sea un verbo cero estar, que sea otro verbo diferente a ese, vamos a usar does. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Está bien dicho. Vale, y la última cosa era que lo que expliqué es que tenemos el was y el were, ¿verdad? Que es exactamente el verbo to be, pero en tiempo pasado. Entonces, pongamos que ya él ya no está en la compañía. Raúl Pérez ya no está en la compañía y vamos a preguntar si él era puntual, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, was he punctual? Usamos la misma forma, mire. Is, lo pasamos a pasado, was. Y, y, y lo mismo, ¿verdad? Podemos ponerle always tal como está ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Is he always punctual? Was he always punctual? Entonces, si de, de acuerdo a cómo aparezca aquí en el reporte, así contestaríamos. Yes, uh -huh. he was. O no, he wasn't. Me? Was not. Ajá. Está bien, Ok. Uh -huh. Esas son las preguntas que hicimos al final. Uh -huh. Está bien, teacher, gracias. Okay, con es gusto. bien complicado el inglés, teacher. <ríe> y fíjese que es más fácil que el español, ¿sabe por qué? Porque en el español vio cómo lo conjugamos. Decimos, Exacto. él es, ella es, saber para cada uno. En cambio, en este uh -huh. no, porque en este solo tenemos tres formas. Is, uh -huh. are y am. ¿vea? Y en los demás uh -huh. verbos solo es. Por ejemplo, ese follow, vea. Follow uh -huh. y follows. Son las únicas dos formas. Entonces, Así es un poquito más fácil. Lo que pasa es que como estamos aprendiendo, Wendy. Así es. Eso es, Tiche. <risa> Hay que practicarlo. ¿okay? Está bien, Tiche. Lo, lo que puede hacer para aprender y definir cuándo usar is y das, haga todas estas en preguntas. Haga todas estas en preguntas y puede usar el cuadrito que tenemos aquí abajo, mire. Y se puede basar en estos dos uh -huh. ejemplos, mire. Uh -huh. Para que usted practique todas esas características de la lista. Está bien, Y ahí va a ir viendo en cuál pone das, en cuál pone is, ¿verdad? Está bien. Ok. Gracias, teacher. No problem, my pleasure. All right. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Okay then. <clears throat> see it. See you Monday. Oh. Okay. A trabajar mañana, Tisha. Oh, so you work on Saturdays. Sí. Oh, okay. Uh, well, have I a very work. good day tomorrow. Have a very okay. good day. Mm -hmm. See you on Monday. All right. Okay. Have a very good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Blessing, teacher. Bless you too. <laughs>